Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Friday the 3rd of November comes to you from London. And we start by looking at the dollar. Dollar actually uh, rising slightly um, and we're still holding um, bullish above the short term cloud. And we're just about to come through, it looks like, on the medium term uh, cloud. Even if we just go sideways, we will um, manage to be above the cloud. So looking more and more bullish, having found support in the point and figure chart, uh, the dollar position is bullish. Of course, we've got a new um, Federal Reserve Chairman uh, announced, um, and also we're awaiting jobs numbers in the US today. But the dollar is is having a, a slight resurgence, and the euro is actually also just holding steady above the cloud. Euro dollar, this is. So uh, we are just seeing the euro holding its uh, steady position, but we are seeing. Uh, in opposition to the dollar, we are seeing the euro just starting to fall through the cloud on the medium term chart. And against the Japanese yen, we're seeing the dollar is strong on all three charts with some quite good short term upside targets. Sterling <coughs> had an interesting day yesterday. It was the um, Bank of England announcement on interest rates uh, rising quarter of a percent. Um, to half a percent. Interesting that sterling fell um, and uh, what's interesting here is um, are, even though um, the market um, you would have thought would take that positively um, it had priced in a rise and perhaps the the comments of further rises only two in the next three years um, is what really spooked the market on sterling and it just fell further so um, that's put us back below the cloud on prices here um, and it does look like uh, sterling is now hitting some resistance on the longer term chart so um, sterling falling away we've got a new downside target of 128.77 we're just nudging 130.47 this morning so um, we are just seeing uh, th that further falls there and that's the that's a significant thing we fell and we are going further lower yet so um, sterling is still bearish short term medium term turning bearish and long term bearish with quite significant downside targets so uh, even though we got a rate rise it was priced in and and we saw a negative reaction uh, looking at sterling against the euro much the same picture um, bearish uh, very similar picture to the dollar just turning um, bearish on the medium term chart not quite yet but um, not much work to do 110 is a pretty important level um, now for sterling against the euro uh, looking at uh, sterling swiss much the same picture of course and against the australian dollar uh, fell away but uh, the aussie dollar just weakening further this morning so we're seeing a little bit of resurgence in sterling against the australian dollar that's more about aussie weakness given uh, sterling's position against the other currencies the s p 500 just holding steady um, the Nasdaq also holding steady, uh, uh, and then we've got the Dow also just punching to new highs. Um, and if we look at the Russell 2000, uh, just at the moment, just holding um, a, a sort of flat position. Taking a look at the future, virtually unchanged this morning on the S&P, the Nasdaq E-mini up 0.22%, suggests we might see this tech opening higher. And of course, we had good results from Apple overnight, so uh, that will probably um, push the market higher. Uh, we see the FTSE 100 is up this morning. That's a weaker sterling helping there. Um, so FTSE is now making a, a move into clearly positive territory. FTSE 250 also looking quite positive. A little bit of a consolidation pattern the last couple of days, but now breaking higher. Uh, we haven't quite yet activated this uh, target here on the FTSE um, 250, but we still do have around 3% upside um, on the previous target, which would match this new target. So we are seeing short-term targets emerging. Uh, the DAX also holding its strength, looking pretty good. Um, and the Nikkei also uh, just heading for the moon, really. Uh, the Hang Seng also looking quite strong, bullish above the cloud. The Shanghai index just not quite, the local market just not quite making it um, into bullish territory in the short term. Uh, the Sensex also looking very, very strong, trending very steadily over the last few weeks and uh, moving higher. The Indian market is still looking amazing. Uh, the Australian market holding good. Uh, Brent crude sitting still above $60 uh, and holding its bullish position above the cloud. And WTI, much the same picture, bullish above the cloud in all three time frames. US nat gas rising slightly, just trying to get back above the short term um, resistance. And uh, if we look at copper, uh, quite a good bellwether. We're seeing here that it's uh, still holding bullish above all three charts. Going straight to um, the gold chart, we're seeing gold just sitting steady at this 1275 level. Really not much action in the last uh, week or so. And the same with silver, um, just steady, steady sideways as well. 
Uh, US Treasury yield sitting at 2.35%. Apple, as we said, uh, had very strong results after the close last night, so we wouldn't be surprised to see Apple moving higher. Google also um, looking pretty good still. Amazon holding its jump from last week. Facebook pulling back quite a bit yesterday, but still looking very bullish in all three charts. And Microsoft also looking strong, bullish above all three charts as well. That's it for today. Have a great weekend. Happy charting. See you then.